Hello, Flight Simmers. It's River here, and I am sitting in my PMDG 747-400ER. I don't think the ER makes any difference. We're at JFK, and I really know that doesn't make any difference. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a problem I had. It's been a little while since I flight simmed. Not too long, but enough months, and it's been quite a while since I flew the 747, so... I found if you don't fly the 747, you there's a lot of lot to it. It's it's a lot of fun figuring it out. You know, um, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Except I got a few extra gray hairs trying to figure out how to get the flight plan to load up. So I went to Sim Brief, got a flight plan, uh, put it into the correct folder, which you can find videos and information how to do all of that. And let's come down here and open up our flight plan or our, our FMC. And, you know, more or less what they tell you to do is go into FMC and you can skip past this and you get your initial position going. And, the, you know, after you go through all that stuff with no real problems, you need to come in and put in, you know, I want to select the route that I loaded, which is, this is the files that, that you would download from SimBrief. And you come in here and you get this message, data link, not ready. So you go, okay, fine. And I'm going to return and we'll just go back out. So then you, you watch the video and it says, okay, you need to put in your location, you know, the starting origin. You need to put in you know, where you're going to. And I had just picked a relatively short flight because I'm uh, more likely to crash than not, in a sense. And then they need you need to put in some kind of a flight number. I don't think it makes any difference what you put in. It might make a difference at some point if you get fancier, but for the purpose of this video, you know, this is good enough. Um, and, you know, now, okay, fine. So I come in here. Actually, they then say, well, now you need to go, sorry, you need to go and, and do acres. Well, I can't, well, actually, most of the videos say like D-Link right here. And it's, you know, well, I don't have D-Link. I have acres. And I clicked every button, you know, that whatever. Come back out here. I figured out that if you turn this on, you can then click acres. And I'm going in here figuring out, well, no, this just has to do with like, control of, of other things like you can manually control like switch it to map mode or switch it to planning mode so it should you know change these depend you know the mode of the screen I'm like well no that's not that's not it you know so we'll come back and turn that off it's doesn't I mean that's fine function I'm not 100% sure but in any event so I watched a video and it real here's the thing I really missed that probably would have saved me quite a while if you open up the center console one, it doesn't have FMC. It just has, you know, it's a separate menu. I, it didn't dawn on me that that one would be different. And if I hit acres here, then I can do pre-flight. And this is where you type in. So, you know, it, it may be obvious to smarter people than me that I could type in, all right, we're going to leave at 1,300 hours. And it's a... Oops. See, this is another thing that's a little confusing. Let's see if that takes it in. Yeah, so one, one, one hour and 30 minutes to Pittsburgh. And then you have to put in a, you know, I don't know. Well, we'll do RV for Rever. There you go. R, Rever Airlines. So, you know, again, I, I, don't, I don't think it makes any difference which ID you put in there. Now, it might if you get into fancier stuff. But if you notice, it now says D-Link activated. So we can close this if we want, and I can come back into here, and it says D-Link ready. So let's go back over to route, and then I can come in here. Now see, notice it says send. It doesn't, you know, doesn't say select anymore. So if I come in here, and now I open up, this is the, the flight that I got for the, from SimBrief, this is the, uh, flight plan that I got. So we click on that. And then now things don't, we don't have a message here that says, you know, D-Link not ready. We can hit request. 
It says sending. Sent. We can activate it. Execute. There you go. So see, even though it had that, I think that was an old message possibly. Uplink ready. And then we can hit load. Now we ha there's plenty of other things to set up. So I'm not pretending that that everything is is good to go. But if we if we come over here to this screen, let me make it as big as is reasonable. And I want to change the view. So I'm going to come over here to plan. And let's go change. There you go. So we can kind of see here that we now have this plan, you know, in, in place. So um, now we can activate it. I think it'll turn, yeah, it'll turn blue. So now this is actually our plan. Now, if we come back to map, I'm getting off the subject, but yeah, see, there you go. So it's, it's on the map though. It's, we're facing the wrong direction to really see it. Maybe I can come up. There you go. You can kind of see it down at the bottom maybe. But the point is, is we now have that flight plan loaded because we got our D-Link. Like you can't upload the wind data or, or any of that stuff unless you have done this first. So I hope that helps someone. Uh, it certainly frustrated the heck out of me. So just once again, you know, if you come over to menu and you try to hit this acres and again, all the instructions have it say D-Link here, you got to come down to this one. And, and hit this so on the center one that's where you now if you look we have d-link and it tells us our information so i'm not sure not sure why what is that we don't want that not sure why that's different on this one but hey it's if it's accurate it's, it's not like i know how to fly a 747 very well so well anyway like i said i really hope that helps you guys out and you know it looks like traffic's building up so I'm going to get out of here, and I hope you guys have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.